Science and Technology and Nation Building. The learning objectives of this chapter is that the students will be able to first to explain the role of our government in science and technology. Second, to identify actual science and technology policies of the government. And third, to know what is NCRP and its policies. Now, what is science and technology in nation building? Science and technology hold the key to the progress and development of any nation. Technology plays a fundamental role in wealth creation, improvement of the quality of life, and real economic growth and transformation in any society. The Historical Background of Science and Technology in the Philippines In pre-colonial period, the early Filipino settlers were already using certain plants and herbs as medicine. Systems of farming and animal racing were also implemented. The early Filipinos also developed different motives of transportation and developed tools to use for the daily living. In colonial period, walls, roads, bridges, and other large infrastructures were built using some of the engineering skills and tools brought by the Spaniards. The Spanish government developed health and educational systems that were enjoyed by the principal class. Superstitious beliefs and Catholic doctrine sent practices which halted the growth of science in the country. Learning of science in school focuses on understanding different concepts related to the human body, plants, and animals. In American occupation, Americans established government agencies like the Bureau of Science for the sole purpose of nurturing development in the field of science and technology. In post-colonial period, one of the presidents who ushered in the advancements in science and technology under his term, many agencies in science and technology were established and strengthened, just like PAGASA, National Academy of Science and Technology, and Department of Science and Technology. Now what is the role of our government in science and technology? Governments in many countries directly support scientific and technical research. The federal role in science and technology, although subsidiary to industries, is no less crucial. The federal government will continue to carry primary responsibility for funding fundamental research in science and technology, including sustaining the infrastructure of institutions and facilities that perform excellent research and play a critical role in educating and training the next generation of scientists and engineers. Fundamental research and broadly relevant use-oriented research in a number of engineering and technology fields is of current concern because of cutbacks by the Department of Defense and Industry Central Laboratories in some fields. Most of the federal support of university research is now health-related and it will be important to ensure that other fields receive sufficient funding to take advantage of opportunities and produce the human capital needed to sustain U.S. leadership. Actual science and technology policies of the government and appraise their input on the development of the Filipino nation. The science and technology policy covers the public sector measures designed for the creation funding, support, and mobilization of scientific and technological resources. The board government policy objective for science and technology is to embed science and technology as part of the culture of the key sectors to promote competitiveness in the production of a wider range of quality goods and services. Republic Act number 2067 is an act to integrate coordinate and intensify scientific and technological research and development and to foster invention to provide funds therefore and for other purposes. Republic Act number 1606 
is an act to promote scientific engineering and technological research invention. The National Council on Radiation Protection and Measurements, or NCRP, seeks to formulate and widely disseminate information, guidance, and recommendation on radiation protection and measurements which represent the consensus of leading scientific thinking. The Council is always on the alert for areas in which the development and publication of NCRP materials can make an important contribution in the public interest. The Council's mission also encompasses the responsibility to facilitate and stimulate cooperation among organizations concerned with the scientific and related aspects of radiation protection and measurements. NCRP has been active in the areas of radiation protection and measurements since its inception as the Advisory Committee on X-ray and Radium Protection in 1929. NCRP originally operated as an informal association of scientists seeking to make available information and recommendations on radiation protection and measurements. The Charter of the Council Public Law 88-376 states its objective as follows. The first is to collect, analyze, develop, and disseminate in the public interest information and recommendations about A. Protection against radiation and B. Radiation measurements, quantities, and units, particularly those concerned with radiation protection. The second is to provide a means by which organizations concerned with the scientific and related aspects of radiation protection and radiation quantities, units, and measurements may cooperate for the effective utilization of their combined resources and to stimulate the work of such organizations. The third is to develop basic concepts about radiation quantities, units, and measurements about the application of these concepts and about radiation protection and to cooperate with the International Commission on Radiological Protection, the Federal Radiation Council, the International Commission on Radiation Units and Measurements, and other national and international organizations, governmental and private, concerned with radiation quantities, units and measurements, and with radiation protection. The NCRP clustered these policies into four. The first is social sciences, humanities, education, international policies, and governance. The second is physics, engineering, and industrial research, earth and space science, and mathematics. The third is medical, chemical, and pharmaceutical sciences. And the fourth, biological science, agriculture, and forestry. In social sciences, humanities, education, international policies, and governance, this policy is to integrate ASEAN awareness in basic education, emphasizing teaching in the mother tongue, developing schools, infrastructures, and providing for ICT broadband, and introduced and implemented programs, projects, and policies to boost science and technology. The goal of this policy is to prepare the whole country and its people to meet the demands of a technologically driven world and capacitate the people to live in a world driven by science. In physics engineering and industrial research, earth and space science and mathematics, this policy emphasizes degrees, license and employment opportunities, outright grant to peer monitoring, harnessing science and technology as an independent mover of development. In response to ASEAN 2015 agenda, the government, particularly the DOST, has sought the expertise of NCRP to consult various sectors in the society to study how the Philippines can prepare itself in the meeting of ASEAN 2015. 
In medical, chemical, and pharmaceutical sciences, these policies ensure compliance of drug manufacturing firms with the SEAN harmonized standards by full implementation of FDA. Creating an education council dedicated to standardization of pharmaceutical services and care. Empowering food and drug agencies to conduct evidence-based research as pool of information. And legislating a law supporting human genome projects. In biological sciences, agriculture and forestry, this policy aims to protect and conserve biodiversity by full implementation of existing laws. Use of biosafety and standard model by ASEAN countries. Promoting indigestion knowledge systems and indigenous people's conservations. And formulation of common food and safety standards. That is the end of our PowerPoint presentation. Thank you for watching.